Hello, my name is Tom, and today I'm back with another Sigma 2 Servo Amplifier video. Now I'm going to get started here, and I'm going to scroll down and show you the materials for today's project. Now if you follow the hyperlink that I have here, it should take you directly to the webpage at the Yasukawa website where the Sigma 2 amplifier is located, or you can just type in drives.com. And I'm going to scroll down here a little bit and show you the project description for today's project. In today's video, I am going to be using the operator display to display the motor's model number, the voltage, the wattage, the encoder type and encoder resolution, and also the special Y specification code of the motor. Now I'm going to continue scrolling down here and go through the step-by-step -step guide here. In step one, I will be entering the auxiliary function mode. In step two, I will be entering function 11. And here in step three, I am displaying the motor voltage and the model. And I believe that I have this broken down pretty good for you. In figure three here, I have a display of F.01. 0, 0. So after the F dot, I have a 0, 1. That is my voltage for the motor. So if I come over here to 0, 1, that gives me a motor voltage of 200 volts AC or 280 volts DC. And then the next two numbers that I have here, 0, 0 in figure 3, give me a motor model of a SG. MAH. So that seems simple enough. So I'm going to continue scrolling down here into step four. In step four, I am displaying the wattage of the motor and do a little math here. I have to multiply the value that I have here in the display, which is 0020, so that's 20 times 10 watts, will give me a 200 watt motor. And here in step 5, I am displaying the encoder type, also the resolution. And it's similar to uh, step 3, to where you have E.00. Zero zero. The 00, zero would be the code for the type of encoder it is. And in this case, it is an incremental encoder. And then the 1.3 is the code resolution which is a 13-bit encoder. Now if I keep scrolling down here into step 6 it gives me the special Y specification code of the motor and as you can see it's all zeros and here in step 7 I take it back to the auxiliary function mode display and that's it for my step-by-step -step guy so let's go to the video well, that's about it for this video. So if you liked my video, or if you learned something, let me know, leave a comment. Otherwise, I'll see you next video.